So, boys, it's Halloween. Well, not while I'm recording this, but this video should be up on Halloween. But you guys know what that means. It's the spooky season. So I thought it would only be right to play a spooky mod. So today, we're playing Terraria's Spooky Mod. Literally, that's the name. Now, really quickly before we start, I have an urgent message. I have a deadly fear for pumpkins. So let's just hope and pray that this mod does not have a lot of pumpkins. Pumpkin! So boys, here's the question. Will I be able to overcome my fear and beat all the new bosses that this mod has to offer? Or will my fear for pumpkins drive me so crazy that it ends up making me kill myself? So after spawning in, I notice a straight banger of a soundtrack. Wait a minute. Listen to this music. But that's not the main focus. See, I'm trying to beat this mod before Halloween ends and get this video out for you guys as soon as possible. But there's one slight problem. See, I started this project five days before Halloween ends. So that means I have to be, edit, and upload this video all in that small time frame. But honestly, I was kind of doubting myself. Mainly because all of these fucking mobs, guess what? They're all so strong. And here's the best part. They're all fucking pumped. But if you guys want to take a look around, look at the biome I spawn in. Yeah, it's a new biome. And it, it looks pretty freaking good. But after taking a look around for a bit, I found a new NPC. It was a dancing pumpkin in NPC. It was like a pumpkin in a pot, I think. I have bad eyes. But if you talk to this guy, he'll actually tell you what direction to head in. And he told me to go underground in the current biome I'm in, because there was a ton of loot left behind by some, I don't know. You, got, you can ask him, I don't know. But after going down there and exploring, I realized my guy could not be farther from the truth. You want to know what I found down there? Do you really want to know what I found? For one of the weapons, I found a fucking leaf blower. What am I going to do? Blow the enemies? Wait, pause. Now, a leaf blower wasn't the only thing I found. I actually found two more weapons. One of them was a book. I don't know what you want me to do with that either. Fucking put them to sleep, okay? I don't know. But guess what? The best of all, fucking toilet paper. What do you want me to do, bro? I'm gonna take a shit toilet paper. Nice. Now, since my weapons are so useless, I decided to try to make some better ones by myself. So the first weapon I seen was a summon item, and it looked pretty good. So I made it, and it, it looked really good until I fucking used it. What the? What is... Dude, my hands are shaking. Can I fight him? What do I... What is that name? He looks like your mom. What the f... And at this point, I already wanted to quit. If the mobs already did this much damage, dude, everything is so strong! And I had such terrible weapons, I was very nervous on how I would perform against the new bosses. But I had to push past that nervousness, so I summoned the Eye of Cthulhu. And, dude... You see, this would be easier if, I don't know, could jump on the platform! You're my only hope, nurse, please, no! And dude, I was so worried about the new bosses, I couldn't even beat a fucking eyeball. So I instead decided to try and summon the first new boss to kind of see what I was going up against. And bro, this motherfucker has fleas! His fleas! Ah, his fleas! So I honestly just said, fuck that. I actually fought the Eye of Cthulhu so many times, I finally managed to beat it. And he actually dropped me a key, which is for a new area called the Catacombs. Now honestly, everything there was pretty trash as well, but there was a lower level that I couldn't access just yet because I also needed another key to unlock it. But after many attempts against the new pumpkin boss, I finally got him to a second phase. And dude, this dude and his goddamn flea! No, bro, he's so low! But after many more attempts against this pumpkin full of fucking fleas, I finally managed to defeat him. And guess what? He dropped me nothing. Yo, I did it! Let's go! So I instead built a platform in the evil biome to go fight the evil boss. And I lost the first time, but I actually beat him the second time, but it was so painfully slow. I swear to God, it took like 25 minutes! But after that, I went to go talk to the new dancing NPC, and he told me to go find another new biome that's down in hell. And that's what I did. And bro, are those fucking fingers? It, what is that sound? Are those fingers? But this biome is actually where the next new boss resides, and I honestly could not find how to get the summon item for him. So I totally did not just summon it in by cheating. I didn't do it. <clears throat> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Look at it. It's up his nose. Oh, sh And yes, bro, I'm going up against the nose of Cthulhu. But it's honestly not the hardest boss in the world. All I really had to do was remake the arena, and I managed I to kill it. I beg of die. Let's go, bro. Now, after killing him, he actually dropped me a pretty sick weapon that actually shoots boogers, and that's the weapon I used to kill Skeletron first try. 
And after that, I went down to hell, built a pretty long arena, and I killed the Wild Flesh first try as well. And the Wild Flesh actually drops a key for the catacombs, and I went down there, got some pretty cool stuff, but it was nothing too important. So I did the basic start to hard mode that everyone does. I went mining for ores, but after that, I went straight to farming Souls of Light, because I wanted to summon a Mimic. And that's exactly what I did. I summoned, killed it, and it dropped me my favorite weapon in the game. The Daily Storm build, because I'm basic. Yes! First try, let's go! But after that, I summoned the twins and got shit up. So I went to go get better armor and wings. And after that, I still could not win. Yo, no way! No what? So I instead went to get more HP and some better boots. And... Yep, I'm killing myself. Let's go. See you later, boys. I'm out! So yeah, I went to go fight the mechanical worm. And after a few tries of purposely losing so he'd let his guard down, I was finally able to beat him. But after that, I made some hollowed armor, and I was finally able to kill those spooky twins. And I also killed Mr. Bone Man. And it was now finally time to go fight the next new boss. So I made the spawner, and bro, what the fuck? Nothing's happening. Oh, what the f- It cracked. Where's he at? It's a worm. Dude. Dude, what the fuck is that? Now this guy was actually pretty tough, so I had to expand the arena even more. And just when I thought I had a chance, boom. Second phase. Dude, what? I just- What? A saliva ball. Now this guy splits into two, consistently running up your ass, but a man can only take so much booty ramming before getting really mad. And after Why? that, I was finally able to kill him. To... <gasps> what? I killed him! <gasps> now he didn't drop me anything I really wanted, so I instead went mining for Chlorophyte so I can go get some better gear and armor. Then after that, I made an arena in the jungle biome, and I fought Plantera, and it wasn't too bad of a fight. Wait, 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 say that again? You can't see it? Oh, yeah, it's because I forgot to record! But I was eventually able to kill him, so then I went straight to the temple to go fight the golem. And I also killed him first try. But guess what? You can't see this one either. Because I didn't record- But it's okay, because after killing him, he actually dropped me a key for the catacombs that unlocks the next new but final boss of this mod. But before I went to go fight him, this is when I realized I didn't record the last two fights, so I went to go fight him again. When I was looking for the bulb, I couldn't find one, so I went straight to the golem, and I swear, he got ten times stronger. I swear to god, he one-shot me. So I- I scrapped it. I'm not fighting him. Yeah, okay. So I instead want to go fight the new boss, and bro, this guy right here is a piece of shit. I had one platinum on me, bro? Are you serious? Healing flower? Healing flower, bro! Dude, what? Healing orbs. And this piece of shit is healing flower. This bitch had a stupid I'll hop on the mic. I figured it out. Oh, I still got hit. Fuck. No, I was damn it! Now, while getting completely manhandled, I had a great idea, which was to go kill the pillar so I can go get some better gear. And that's exactly what I did. I went straight to the lunatic cultist and I was able to kill it first try. Then after that, I went straight to the first three pillars and I was able to completely wipe them out, except the blue one, because it's gay. But I was able to make a better bow and now I do some insane damage. But this guy's moves were so unorthodox, it made me want to lose my mind. I still couldn't beat him. Oh my god, I do so much damage now. This was definitely the move. Dude, oh my god. So I instead maxed out my health, and after all that, I was finally able to beat him. Come on, please, 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 please. What is going on? <laughs> and the reward I got for that was a terrible summon item, and that's just great. And I thought to myself, I was so deep into this game, I only had one more boss to kill. So I finished the last pillar, and I fought the moon lord. And guess what? I fucking lied! And I honestly don't know why he was so hard. It was probably because I just sucked. Yeah, that's probably why. But I made an asphalt bridge, and after like 50 tries, I was finally able to defeat him. Oh my god, finally. <sighs> I'm gonna finally beat it. Jeez, man. All I needed was max health, the best wings, and like, uh, I'm terrible, dude. And just like that, that's the end of our spooky mod. And I honestly think that's an accomplishment, because in a mere five days, I was able to record, edit, and upload this video. And, dude, that's insane, because I fucking suck at Terraria. But really quickly, if you stuck to the end of this video, I just want to thank you so much. And if you want to go get some candy during Halloween, just remember, check it, because this world... It's a crazy place. And other than that, man, thank you guys so much for watching. And guess what? I still didn't get rid of my fear for pumpkins.